Thank you very much. Thank you, Carl. What a group. I want to just thank Carl and David DiPietro, who are friends of mine and great people. They love the state and they love the country. And obviously, we know our country's not doing so well. Our country's in trouble, but our state, likewise, is doing very, very poorly. So I just wanted to be here to support you. You know, we're building jobs right now all over the world. And I'd like to be focused on New York. I'd like to be focused even in the United States. But so many things are happening outside of this country, outside of the state. And it's actually a shame. You know, New York State could be one of the energy capitals of the world. And your taxes, your taxes would be going down to a point that you wouldn't even believe. And we're in a state that's in big trouble. If you just look, bloated government, corruption all over the place. And I mean all over the place. People are fleeing to other states. We've lost 1.6 million people and most of them are taxpayers, but we're losing businesses, we're losing people all the time. Upstate New York has been virtually abandoned, except around election time, in which case they come and they talk. And it's just talk, believe me, because after the election you won't see anybody. That's gonna be that. But people are leaving New York and they're leaving upstate in droves. We owe approximately $400 billion in debt how is that going to be paid off without energy and other things? Yeah, there you the go. answer is it's not. You see what happened to Detroit. You see what happened to lots of other places. Get ready. Because if a lot of people aren't very energetic and very smart, that's going to be happening to you. Some of our places, Buffalo has one of the highest poverty rates in the nation, which is incredible to think about. And you know, when you go all through the list, it's just negative after negative, on top of everything, they give you the SAFE Act, okay? Yeah. Now, unbelievable. Now, I'm a big Second Amendment person. I'm a big, strong believer in that. Big. You have the constitutional right to keep and bear arms. You have that right. Yeah. And they want to take it away. And they are taking it away. Slowly but surely, they're taking it away. Now, they're not taking it away from the bad guys. Yeah. Because, you know, the bad guys, they're going to have their guns, and they're not going to register, and they're not going to do anything. Yeah. And they'll walk in, and they'll have the gun pointed right, and you'll be sitting there and saying, can we talk? Yeah. 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 Obama. And it's hard to believe, actually, when you look at what they're doing. And is it a lack of common sense or are these people, the politicians, the bad guys? In their own way, they probably are. You have so many violations. You have a violation of the New York civil rights law. You know that. The Fourth Amendment, the Second Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, the Fifteenth Amendment. It's all violated. The SAFE Act is violating all. It was one of the worst drawn, uh, most quickly drawn. It was drawn so quickly that at one point, police officers didn't have the right to carry guns. They could have been arrested for carrying a gun. Why do they need them? And you know what? There's still really big questions as to even police and arms. So we, we've got to get smart. Now, I have a son. And I have another son that are both members of the NRA. They, they fully understand the subject. And in fact, last night we had dinner, we had a long talk about it, and they brought me into a situation that was amazing. They were telling me things that are inconceivable. And I will say to this group of people, you're all hardworking people, you're all taxpayers, you're out there doing your best, and you're getting beaten up by either incompetent or very, very stupid politicians. After many, many decades, Remington, as you know, they just announced they're leaving the state, they're taking jobs with them. Terrible. And, and who can blame them? I mean, they're treated so badly, and they're leaving. And you just can't. 
So I just want to say, and you know, one of the things that people are always shocked when they hear, but I have a pistol permit. I live in Manhattan. And a lot of people don't know that, but you know, if I ever have a problem, I'll at least have a, sh I'll at least have a good shot at it. So again, I wanted to be here to support you. I'll be with you no matter where you are. I truly, truly believe in what you're fighting for. You have to protect the Second Amendment. You have to protect yourselves. You have to protect your family because generally speaking, nobody else will be doing it. So whatever I can do for you folks, I will be there for you and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. that he doesn't know. Hang on, here's what happens. At all of the rallies, everybody understands this is not a safe act, it's unsafe act. And every time you say the term safe act, it costs you $10. Now you said it seven times. So you owe me $70, right? Isn't that how it works? And, and what do we do with that money? We give it to who? No, we give it to the Leather Stocking Honor Flight to send our vets to D.C., right? That's what we do. And that's what happens. So you know. Thank you. This is, this is our Trump who trumps their joker. Do we love Donald Trump? Yeah! <laughs> Take Cuomo's job away, Trump! Yeah! Take it away! Did you see this? Yeah, I got one! It's the rules of engagement for today. And they're going to confiscate your toys! Published by the state of New York. Anything that appears to be a weapon, including toy guns and other replicas, are strictly prohibited. What does this say about our government? Are they afraid of us? Yeah. Is our government afraid of us? Yeah. What's the matter with these people? They don't know a New York citizen when they see one. These are the working citizens that pay the payroll for those people in that building. Yeah, baby, come out. Reach it out, baby. It's on our backs that they passed that illicit budget last night. And all the press wants to tell us is the, about the few breadcrumbs they threw out for education and a couple of other things. Yeah, right. What they didn't tell us is that, that it was a disproportionate sharing of state revenues with the city of New York. Yeah, right. Oh, I need money for they gave upstate 40 million. They gave they gave the city of New York 320 million dollars for education kindergarten. Why? Let's connect the dots. It's real easy. Andrew Cuomo knows that that's his election base. He gave them the disproportionate share to enhance his value to those people. He doesn't even know that Upstate exists. Did we come here today to be nice? Take a moment and turn to the guy on your left, or your, excuse me, the lady or man on your left or on your right, and thank him for showing up today. Thank him for making this great statement.
And let's 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 thank Andrew Cuomo for for moving us from out in front of the Capitol over here onto the south uh, part of Go this uh, plaza. They think they own us. And we believe in freedom. And we believe that you have to stop infringing upon our rights. And I don't want to direct all my ear at, at Andrew Cuomo, because I think we have to save a great part of it for the number one rhino in the state of New York, uh, Dean Skelos. This, this is the man who got elected by saying he has conservative and Republican values. That's what he told the, his constituents in Nassau County. Wow! He got elected that way. He got put into this office as the leader of the New York State Senate majority because Mr. Bruno selected him. Not because we voted for him, but because Mr. Bruno told the caucus that this is your guy. All right, so then we, then all of a sudden he's the leader. He's the leader in what's known as four men in the room government today. It used to be three men in the room, but now they got this guy named Klein that joined the caucus. So Dean Scullos, after having made a little private deal in the back room with Andrew Cuomo, tells Cuomo, okay, send the bill through. I'll move it. And the bill... Maybe, I don't know yet. I, I need that other... I'm standing down here, why? <laughs> the bill, the, known as the Unsafe Act, Are you? comes through to Dean Skelos to make a decision. As the, as the leader of the Senate, Dean Skelos could have decided to send it to a referendum. Okay, we'll see. Or he could just have said it's not going to the floor because they have that kind of power in what's supposed to be a democracy. So what did he do? He let it go to the floor. He let it go to the floor to be voted on. And he took eight New York State Republican senators, primarily from Long Island, but also one Cretan from Buffalo. And he, and he brought them along and they voted for the SAFE Act. Now, that's an unforgiving event. It should be unforgiving in just about every respect. But most importantly, it should be unforgiving to the, our other Republicans in the New York State Senate caucus. So we asked them as a body to get rid of him as their leader. Because if our leader talks the talk but can't walk the walk when it comes to Republican values and conservative values and principles, well then, we have to get another leader, don't we? But our Republican caucus didn't have the intestinal fortitude to do that. And they let Dean, Dean Skelos continue. They let him continue as the leader of this illicit voting block in the New York State Senate. 